Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with C programming video tutorial. In this tutorial, we print some specific pattern using star or asterisk symbol. Here we will print this pattern. You can see here stars are printed in decreasing order and some space are printed among the stars. Let's see how it looks to the skin. Here we divide the whole screen into rows and columns. These are the rows and these are the columns. If you see the picture carefully, you will find here two different patterns. This is one pattern which marked in red color and this is another pattern which marked in green color. In the first pattern, stars are printed first and then space. You can see here in the first row, print 5 star. In the second row, print 4 star and then 1 space. In the third row, it print 3 star and then print Two space and this procedure is continue but in the second pattern first print space and then print star in the second row first print one space and then print four star in the third row first print two space and then print three star and this procedure is continue as you can see here number of stars and space printed in both of the two portions are equal the only difference is that in the first portion first print star and then space but in the second portion first print space and then star let's move to the coding here first we declare the variables which we use in our program int row column insert call space and n next i am going to ask user how many rows they want to print print f enter number of rows and a new line. Next we read the input number using scanf function scanf percent d and m percent n. Next we write here loops. Here first we write the outer for loop which runs for rows. For row equal to 1 and this loop will be execute n number of times n is the maximum number of rows whose value we will take from user at runtime. So we can write the termination condition as row less equal to n and then increment the value of row by 1 that is row plus plus. Inside this loop we print this pattern. In this portion first print star and then print space. To print the multiple star in each row we need a loop and we can write it as for column equal to maximum number of rows here maximum number of row is 5 that's why we initialize here column equal to 5 since the stars are printed in decreasing order so we start from the maximum number of rows next we write the termination condition that is column getter equal to row then we decrement the value of column by 1 that is column minus minus the next thing that we need to do write a loop that prints space now see the picture carefully. In the first row, there is no space. Space is printed from second row. That's why we initialize here space equal to 2 and then write the termination condition space less equal to row and then space plus plus. These two loops print the half of a row. If we consider the first row, then these two loops print this portion means it print first 5 star. Next we print the remaining star of the first row. To print this star we need other two loops one for space and another for column. Since both of the two portion print equal number of space and star so the loops for this portion will be same as the previous one. But for the second portion first we write the loop for space and then we write the loop for column. Let's move to the coding. Inside this loop, I am going to write another loop that print multiple column in each row for column equal to n. Then write the termination condition that is column getter equal to row. And then decrement the value of column by 1 that is column minus minus. Inside this loop, we print star, print f. And now write here a star symbol. Next we write the loop for space for space equal to 2 space less equal to row and 
and then increment the value of space by 1 that is space plus plus. Inside this loop we print space using printf statement printf and give here a space. Since there is no space in the first row that's why we initialize here space equal to 2 means space will be printed from row number 2. These two loops print the first half of a row. Now we need to print the second half of the row. In the second portion first print space and then star. I said before the loops for the second portion will be same as the first portion. So I am gonna copy it and paste here. Next we print the star. So I am gonna copy it and paste here. These four loops print a complete row. Our next task is to print a new line to go to the next row. Print f backslash n. Our program is completed. Let's check the output. Compile it and run it. Enter number of rows. I am going to enter 5. And the output is this. Let's check it for another value. Compile it and run it. Enter number of rows. I am going to enter 10. And the output is this. That's it. Hope you understand. See you in next tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. To watch more videos, please subscribe this channel.